Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities Morning Podcast In today's podcast we would be discussing what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on along with the key levels for both the indices I uh, will also be discussing on the key sectors and stocks that we should be focusing for the day and the next few trading session. In trade yesterday the benchmark index Nifty marked a low of 21710 in the early half of the session and thereafter witnessed a smart recovery ending the day on a relatively flat note. On the daily scale it has formed a high wave like candlestick pattern uh, which indicates indecisiveness among the market participants. Among the sectorial indices if we see uh, Nifty Oil and Gas and Nifty Reality uh, were the top uh, gainers while Nifty Metal and Nifty Financial Services were the top losers in trade yesterday. Uh in trade yesterday in the global market perspective see we had the FOMC meeting uh, the FOMC unanimously uh, chose to leave the uh, Fed fund rate unchanged for the fifth consecutive meeting. Uh, the message was clear from them despite the rise in inflation in January and February. Uh, fed uh, view on rate cuts over the coming uh, months that is in 2024 is still the same and fomc projects a uh, 75 basis cut or uh, three cuts in 2024 uh, this commentary uh, uh, by the fed uh, the dovish stance has been lapped by the markets positively and if we see the s&p 500 managed to close at record all times high uh, at a level of 5220 The dollar index also cooled off to levels of 103.20 and the US 10 year bond yields are to stabilizing closer towards 4.25 levels. Uh, looking at the charts of S&P 500 on the short to medium term scale, uh, they display a bullish uh, chart structure and they could continue the positive momentum towards levels of 5380 5420 levels with 5090 acting as the key support. uh this um, uh, the this implies continuation of risk on environment in the global equities especially emerging markets as uh, uh, displayed by an over 1% rise in the msci emerging markets uh, since the fed meet announcement uh, currently if we see back home as well gift nifty is indicating a positive start for us It, at the current juncture if we see gift nifty is currently 160 to 170 points higher compared to where the futures gave a closing yesterday Uh, considering the gap up opening uh, the levels of 22020 22040 uh, would be the immediate hurdle for the index and any sustainable move above the levels of 22040 uh, will lead to a sharp upside rally in trade today in that case it is likely to test the levels of 22130 uh, in short term do, do note that we also have the a uh, weekly expiry in nifty in trade today so the markets could be a bit volatile especially in the second half of the session uh, on the downside if we see the support levels so the sds closing level would act as the immediate support taking into consideration the gap up opening uh, so the levels of 21860 21840 uh, will act as the crucial support from an intraday basis uh, coming to the oi data so nifty pcr is currently at uh, 0.62 Uh, the meaningful call writing is currently witnessed if you see in 21850 21900 strikes while on the put side it is majorly seen in 21800 and 21700 strike so if you take the positive gap up opening and if the markets are able to sustain at elevated levels there could be short covering uh, in the positions which were built in the last few trading sessions uh, going forward considering the uh, for bank nifty considering the gap up opening as well Uh, the zone of 46750 will act as the immediate hurdle and any sustainable move above the levels of 46750 uh, could lead to a sharp upside rally in bank nifty as well uh, towards the levels of 47150 while on the downside the zone of 46400 46350 will act as the crucial support zone for the index uh, if you look at the bank nifty pcr for the monthly series it is currently at 0.89 a uh, significant call writing if we see is seen in 46500 46700 strikes and on the put side it is majorly seen in 46400 46300 strike so implying a broad range of 47150 on the upside and 46100 on the downside uh, if we look at the stocks and sectors in momentum uh, from the broader market if we see icici bank torrent pharma cg power bajaj auto cumins india uh, geo finance these are the counters which are looking uh, good Uh, both based on technical parameters as well as the relative strength chart 
coming to the FII DI data uh, so if you see in the cash market FII sold to the tune of 2599 crores while B, uh, uh, DI is bought to the tune of 2667 crores FII long shot ratio for index futures currently is at uh, 33.24 on a net basis this as they sold 9865 index futures on the stock futures front, FIs have bought to the tune of 23,823 contracts, while on the options front, FIs bought 1,7034 call contracts and they bought 1,12,953 put option contracts. So friends, that's all for today. Thank you for regularly listening to our podcast and wishing you all an energetic day ahead. Uh, do tune in tomorrow for more market updates and insights. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.